Welcome back. We're tossing it over to our meteorologist Carson Vicroy for a look at the forecast. Good morning, Carson. Good morning. You got some good news for us or some bad news for us? Oh, it depends on who you ask. It's okay. it's an opinionated forecast. All right. Well, let, mm -hmm. let us hear. Let us hear it. Okay, so good news and bad news. Good news for people like me that actually like the cooler weather, like a little pumpkin spice and that coffee in the morning. Well, it's going to be a good morning to do that because it is quite chilly out there. And if you don't think this is chilly, well, it's about 10 degrees cooler than what we had yesterday. We've got a few clouds out there right now, and you can see the winds have shifted direction. You can tell by the American and Texas flag there in the background, and winds are now out of the north northwest at nine miles per hour. And that air has a little bit of a bite to it. We're at about 56 degrees, and I'm sure we've got a little bit of a wind chill value as well. A couple of showers to report to you near Sabine and San Augustine County. I'm going to get a little closer look at those here in just a little bit, but temperatures, I mean, not half bad. I mean, we're in the 50s and 60s, actually above normal for this time of year, but it feels a little colder. Here's future cast. Again, winds will be strong out of the north northeast today. I do expect our temperatures to generally be in the upper 50s and lower 60s as we move through time for this afternoon. But as we roll into about the midnight hour, look at this. Temps already dropping to the 40s, so we're kind of back to that routine where if you still have the plants, you're hoping to get some free fruit from the plants or you're hoping your flowers to bloom over the next couple of weeks, you got to cover them up tonight because there is a chance at a light freeze for a good part of our area because we're well down into the 30s by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But we do warm up quickly, so if you're not a fan of the cooler weather, it's going to be pretty nice tomorrow afternoon with temps generally in the 60s. And then as we roll into your Friday evening, temperatures starting out in the 40s, by 8 o'clock, we're generally going to be in the low to middle 50s. And then as we roll into your Saturday afternoon, near 70 degrees with those winds shifting from the north to the south. Here's the bus stop forecast. Kiddos need the jacket for drop off, pick up and recess. So all three of them temperatures are in the 50s and 60s for the most part. You might want to remember an extra couple of layers for the second round of football playoffs here in East Texas. This will be a big one. This is at the Christus Rose Stadium in Tyler's kicks off is at seven o'clock. Whitney taking on Mount Vernon going to be pretty nice 50s into the 40s. So hot chocolate blankets, whatever you need to get you get yourself through the day. And then El Campo taking on Lindale. This one's in Waco at McLean Stadium. Of course, that's where the Baylor Bears play. Temperatures will be in the 50s to start 48 by the fourth quarter. Next chance of rain looks to be Sunday. That's when our cold front arrives. In the meantime, we're pretty dry. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on.